Hey guys, this is the old, let me see, I think that's the pilot jet, yeah, this is the new pilot jet, goes in there, And they don't have to be tight, they just have to be seated. Now what they do is they give me a new top for the main jet. So I'm going to get this apart and I'll pause you guys. Okay. Put that off to the side. Screw that dude back in. And that's the jet mod. Now They also have me shimming out a um, okay. I know where that goes. That's no problem. I knew that was going to come off. Came off the last time. This is going to be a little tough to show you guys, but you can see a little plastic part done in there. That twists. It doesn't really twist off, but it sits underneath. Turn it. That comes out. The needle comes out, and I already put the shims on here. There's actually two. You can see that one up in there. The kit gives you those two shims. I use a hemostat to put these back in. put that in. Now this little part here this goes underneath there's like three fingers these go underneath it so you put it down See, I'm having a hard time again with it. Took me a while to understand it. There. See if I can I could show you guys this. There. See how it sits underneath those aluminum fingers? So you got to press it down. And 
you press it down and then you twist it and it sits underneath those three aluminum fingers. So I, by the looks of it, it looks like it screws in, but it doesn't screw in. And that's the jet mod. Then it's just a matter of uh, putting the carburetor back together. Make sure that sits back in there. Uh, trust me, that is vital. Oh, okay. Oh no, you know what? The, uh, the, the spring goes in second. See, I'm getting mixed up myself. Yeah, see, I'm a screwed up, guys. I got it in the wrong slot. I got one of the screw holes mixed up with that one. Now, what I did is this has to go on a certain way also. I marked this off a long time ago, so you could see a little magic marker here with this little mark there. Make sure that's all sitting properly, and we should be good to go. Let me give you guys a pause. Now, when you put this on, put these two screws on on the opposite side of where your throttle linkage is going to go. My fault. Throttle linkage goes on the other on the, on the other side. Okay, cut that on. Now for the flute bowl. See that little. That little flange that has to go do this with the hemostats for you guys. That's how that holds on. And where the float pin sits, make sure you squirt that out also with your gum out. See, mine fell out. Just put it back in. Get our pin.
My pin doesn't want to go in. Oh, there we go. There, pin's in. Make sure your float pin goes up and down. Make sure it's in properly, and that's that. That part's on. Then we put our accelerator to pump back together. I think I got the spring in the wrong place. I did that the last time too. I was trying to figure out why isn't it going down all the way? Well, stupid, you got the spring in the wrong place. Make sure you guys clean that out, okay? That's the one mistake I did. I never cleaned it out until the third time I took the carburetor off. Yeah, that, okay, we got that on right. And verify that that little plastic diaphragm sitting in the proper place. Press it down. And screw it down. You know, and these don't have to be, man, these don't have to be gorilla tight. Just make sure they're tight. Probably something like five pounds of torque, maybe three pounds of torque on these screws. Guys, one thing I want to stress to you, when you put this carburetor back together, make sure your throttle cam, make sure this is ahead of your float bowl assembly or you're going to try to figure out how the hell this thing turn itself around. So before you put your float bowl on, make sure your throttle cam is your your throttle cam is in this position. I can't believe I broke my damn fuel filter. Okay, the bottom's tight. that together yet. Now my um, accelerator linkage or my um, my throttle hold down cable I gotta put that on. Okay now what you want to do for your throttle cable bracket is make sure you get two long screws in here. See, that doesn't work. 
I mixed my screws up, guys, and I um, I'm out of stillmate, man, with my damn screws. <coughs> I think what we need to do, let me steal this screw here. Man, I'll tell you, I need new screws for this. I think that's where I messed up at. Put a small one in up here. Well, that just cat no, it's not catching either. It's not working either. It'll catch here. Mm -mm. That's only like two threads. Guys, let me put you on pause. I gotta find my screws in the right location. Okay. <coughs> This is what I did wrong. The float bowl gets all the long screws. They're, they're front and back. The top piece gets the two, two short ones on the opposite side of the throttle linkage. And then the medium long ones go on the cable holder. Okay, now, that goes in there. Make sure everything's tight. I need a screw set. That's what I need. I already tightened these. I tightened these. Yeah, I need a screw set for this. And I guess what we'll do is we'll hook this up without the fuel filter until morning. Then I'll um, I have to buy a fuel filter. <clears throat> 